Hey folks, I'm doing a repair of my uh, boots here. These are Altimas, A-L-T-A-M-A. -A -A. Um, I've already done some prep work on them, but uh, basically I want to clean and dry and, and dirt free as much as you can. Doing this real quick. I'm using a toothbrush. Old. Sorry, I want to do this on camera. All I'm going to do is use shoe goo to fill in a couple of gaps here that have formed over the years on these boots. These are great boots, I like them. They're waterproof as well. Uh, there's a big, big gap there. You can see hope on the camera there. I'm going to fill in. <clears throat> There's a hole in the bottom here I want to put a little shoe goo into. You can see those are wearing very well for the last, this is the third or fourth winter. I forgot how long I've had them now. I had to look it up. But in any case. Hmm, I'm not sure. Um, I'm building that gap there. As you can tell, my Alexa device is putting her two cents in, as she likes to do. Yeah, I'm calling her a she. Got a nice female voice, so why not? <laughs> okay, let me pop the. Okay, so. What I'm going to do, let's we'll start with the big first. <clears throat> then I'm going to take some of the shoe goo and I'm going to like put it in this gap here. It's clear shoe goo. I have used this before, but it's been a while, so this is a real thick syrup, extra thick substance. I kind of want to work it in there with this plastic knife. I'm not really worried about how it looks. But this is clear so this should too be gunk be too gunky. This is my uh, plastic table. I'm not really worried about I use it for cleaning guns and everything so I'm not really worried about getting anything on it. Okay, now shoe goo says you should wait two to four days, two to three days before thoroughly doing it, um, checking it. So I'm going to wait for three days. Today is Monday, so Thursday will be three days. Uh, <coughs> and then I'll see how we did here, and I'll put that on video as well. I need to do this because my uh, danners need polishing. <laughs> and I want to make sure I have good boots to wear while my danners are sidelined for about 24 hours. That's about how long it takes to do a good polish job on them. Anyway, but just putting the shoe goo in these cracks here kind of smoothing it in with the knife, some trying, mainly uh, hopefully it doesn't separate on me, but it could. I didn't pay a lot for these boots, I was surprised uh, how well they've lasted. Using these uh, glue-on Chinese boots don't last that long if you wear them a lot. But these are combat boots, so uh, perhaps they're better made than your average sneaker. I guess you could say. See if I could push some more in that hole there. 
that's probably the biggest issue I have right there. I have a pair of um, hikers that completely separated on me. I haven't tried those. I should have dug them out and tried them at this time, but anyway. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I repaired this hole here. Or put some glue in it, shoe goo. Put some shoe goo here on this big gap I had. <coughs> and uh, that's the left, the left boot on the right boot. I put a little bit of shoe goo right along in here in that uh, crevice that was starting to open. So hopefully the very least water out. All right, there you go. Uh, <coughs> that's part A. One. And uh, I'll do part two in a few days. Thanks for watching. SL prepping. SL's prepping and survival. Fine enough.